This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this face mask with filter lining pocket made with the wave stitch. Be sure to watch it till the end. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Purple Tulip Workshop where you learn your stitches and stitch to create with love. I'm your host Shifra and I'll be taking you through a series of videos on different types of stitches and projects. So if you're excited and ready to learn, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you'll never miss when I post a new video. So for today's project, I'm going to be using some cotton yarn. This is a cotton yarn by White Rose. It is known as the Glossy Mellow Cotton Yarn. So I have some left over, so I'm going to be using this. And if you look at the thickness, it has a similar thickness to a fingering yarn. And this is in cotton, which is great for our today's project. I'm going to be using a locking pin, a darning needle, a normal needle with some thread, and I'm going to be using a hook size of 2.25 mm, which is the same as size B1 in the US. We will be needing a measuring tape and some cotton fabric. To begin with this project, we're going to now make our slip knot. And we're going to be making a foundation chain in the multiples of 10 and then we will add another additional six to it. So I'm going to make a foundation chain of 50 and then plus six, so a total of 56. And then plus six, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. And we're going to be now working on the second loop from the hook. So we'll insert our hook into the second stitch over here and we'll make a single crochet. And then for the next nine more stitches, we'll do single crochets. It's a total of 10 single crochets. So that's one. And that's 10. Now we're going to be doing five half double crochets. So yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in and yarn all the way through. If you want to refer to one of my two earlier tutorials on how to do a half double crochet, you can refer to it from the link above. So we're going to do five of these. That's one, two, three. Four and five. Now next we're going to be doing a five slip stitch. So I'll show you how to do a slip stitch. Insert your hook in, pull the yarn through and pull the same yarn through your original loop. So that's one, two, four five so we've done is ten single crochets five half double crochets and five slip stitch now we're gonna do again we're gonna do five half double crochets Now we're going to do five slip stitch and we're going to continue the five half double crochet and slip stitch until the last 10 stitches that we have left over here. This is 
the last one which is the five and then I'm gonna do ten single crochets We've done 10 single crochets, one set of half double crochets, which is five stitches, one set of slip stitches, which is of five stitches, then another set of half double. So we've done four sets of half double and three sets of slip stitches in between. So now we've done the chain one, we'll turn our work around, and now we're going to work in the back loops. So we're going to work on the back loop, top loops over here. So in the first stitch we're going to do our single crochet. So I'm going to do 10 single crochets. One single crochet in each stitch. So that's two. And now I'm going to repeat the half double crochet five stitches. So that's one. And now I'm going to do five slip stitches. So that's one. Do the slip stitches a little bit loosely, otherwise you're going to have a tough time getting your hook into it. And five. And now I'm going to do five half double crochets. So I'm going to continue on with the half double crochet. Five half double crochets here, five slip stitch, five half double crochets, five slip stitch five half double crochets and then ten single crochets and I'll meet you I'm gonna pause my video and I'm, I'll meet you once I've come to this end so I'm nearly done I've come to the last stitch okay now we'll do chain one and for the second uh, first and second row is pretty much the same the third row is a little bit different so in the third row, instead of doing single crochets here, I'm going to be doing slip stitches. So we're going to be doing 15 slip stitches in this round. So I've done one. So I've done a total of 15 slip stitches. Now in the next portion, we're going to be doing five half double crochets. And then we'll do five slip stitches. And then I'm going to do five half double crochets, five slip stitches, five half double crochets, and then I'm going to do 15 slip stitches right at the end over here. So I'm going to pause my video and I'll just meet you once I've come to the end of this. So now that I've completed this round three, I'm going to move on to round four. And for that, we'll do chain one, 
turn our work around and in this round as well we're going to be doing 15 slip stitches and then we'll continue with the five half double slip stitches half double onwards till the end I'm gonna just repeat the same sequence on round four as well slip stitches now we're going to do five half double crochets now five slip stitches then five half double five slip stitches five half double and then 15 slip stitches to end this round so I'm going to complete this round four and I'll meet you right at the end over here. So now I've just completed round four. So you can see the difference. And this is the front side. So you'll be able to see the difference here. You have single crochets here and you have slip stitches over here. So design does vary and the band over here will be a little bit less wide than the wide portion over here. So we have single crochets, two rows of single crochets at the end and two rows of slip stitches at the end. The remaining part, this portion remains the same. We just have the alternate uh, wave pattern over here so in the next round which is round five we're gonna be picking up the back loop over here and we'll be doing 10 single crochets and then I'll be doing five half double crochets and I'll continue with the sequence that we had for round one and round two so on round five we'll repeat round one and on round six we will repeat round two so i'm going to be repeating round two one and two for round five and six then i'll be repeating round three and four for round seven and eight and then again one and two will repeat and then again three and four will repeat and i'll keep repeating this sequence of the rounds until i I'm able to get a width of my mask as five inches or five and a half inches and if we measure the width the length of the mask it should be somewhere around six inches so I've got six and a half which is good enough and we'll need a length of the mask itself as five inches or so so I'm gonna repeat on the sequence so I've got somewhere around 38 rows done and my mask is now measuring somewhere around five inches somewhere around five inches and i still have it at six and a half over here which is a great size and i'm going to now just show you how to go ahead or from this point onwards if you do wish you can just place this mask onto your face and just see if you still need some more length to it then obviously just repeat uh, the rounds and increase uh, the height of your mask for me this size is pretty much good so now I'm going to go ahead and do the finishings so for the finishing we're going to be doing single crochet all the way through till the end here and I'll put a slip stitch here and then we'll make the ear band and put a slip stitch over here again in the corner and do a single crochet all the way through till the end and put a slip stitch over here and make the ear band and then slip stitch over here do a chain one over here first and then I'm going to turn it around and do a single crochet in each stitch all the way through so we're going to be working on both the loops okay not just the back top loop we're going to work on both so we're going to just take the hook all the way through and do single crochet up till the end 
So I've come to the point of uh, finishing this uh, hemming over here with the single crochet and in the last stitch I'm going to be doing a slip stitch. And now I'm going to be showing you what we'll do. For the ear bands I have made this round band that I will be attaching over here with single crochets. So I'm going to first show you how to make these. Yeah. So we're going to start up by making a slip knot. For making the ear band, I've made a foundation chain of 60. So I'm going to quickly make a foundation chain of 60. And then I'm going to show you how to join the band. So I've done a foundation chain of 60 and now I'll show you how to join this. Make sure that your chain is not twisted. So right in the original first chain, place in your hook. Make sure that your chain is not twisted, okay? And then bring your loop. through this first chain like this and now I'm just going to do chain one So we have uh, these ear loops ready and this can actually vary from person to person so I had to measure my uh, length required for the ear loops uh, with the mask. So I had to then just check as to how many chains are required and I required somewhere around 60 chain in this particular yarn. It can vary from yarn to yarn and from person to person. So now that I have this ear loop ready, I'm going to place this knot somewhere over here. I would like to hide it in. So I'm going to place in the loop like this. And then we're going to do our first single crochet. And we're just going to do single crochets all the way till the end. So in this last stitch, I'm going to just do a slip stitch. And now we're going to continue on with the single crochet all the way through till the end. And I'm going to hide this tail end as well while we're doing the single crochet. So I've come to the end of doing the single crochet on the bottom part as well. So in the last stitch I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now I'm going to bring in my ear loop. It's really up to you whether you want to place the knot over here or you want to place it outside. So I'm going to place it in, in the center. So we're going to do a first single crochet keeping this loop on a hook like this and bringing a yarn through and 
this is a last single crochet and then I'm going to do a slip stitch right over here at the end and I'll do a chain one and I'm gonna pull onto this loop a little bit because we're going to be weaving in the ends there we go and now using our darning needle now we're going to weave in this tail end Just hide this into our existing stitches. So now we are going to be tracing the inner lining which is the cotton lining and we're going to trace the mask to get the shape. So I've traced uh, the outer edge of the mask onto this. Now I'm going to keep about a quarter inch of a gap as a margin for the sewing allowance. So once we have cut the inner lining with the quarter inch of a margin we are going to be folding these quarter inch margins in and over here on the sides we're going to fold it in twice like this and similarly on the other end as well fold it in twice and now we can just iron this flat to get a smoother finish so I've ironed the edges, the, the quarter of an inch of uh, hemming that we had cut. So I've ironed that in and I've gone ahead and I have stitched one of the sides with a back stitch technique. So I'm going to do that on this end as well. I'm going to get hold of our needle and thread and place in a needle. I'm going to hide this knot and now I'm going to show you how to do the back stitch so we do the first stitch and then we bring the needle around like this and we place in the needle and we take the needle around and bring it up just before thread so that's our back stitch Put the needle through, bring it just before keeping a gap. Now we're going to turn it around and we are going to just place in our knot to lock the stitch. There we go. 
So we've done the back stitching on both sides. We're going to work on the wrong side and we're going to be stitching these darts. Once we stitch these darts, it will give uh, the inner lining the concave shape of the mask. So I've uh, drawn uh, these darts for the measurement. These darts are somewhere around one and a half inch long and one inch as wide. And we're just going to do simple stitching here. going to bring both these corners points edge together and we're going to start stitching from here So I'm going to just quickly go ahead and finish this and I'll come back and I'll show you once I've finished with this uh, stitching as well on the start as well and then I'll show you how to sti stitch this particular line back onto the mask. Okay so I've stitched both of these darts and I've just pressed them on one direction so I put them down and I've just pressed them around you can iron this as well and now we just when you turn this you'll see that there is a dent uh, in the mask you'll have this concave shape we're now going to be joining this onto our face marks the crochet face mask so we're gonna have the wrong side up to facing towards us and the wrong side of the fa uh, face lining facing the crochet mask so the right side would face us so now I'm going to hem at the top of the lining onto the face mask and also the bottom part I'm going to be hemming it in before we hem it in we're going to need to place it in correctly so just make sure that they are placed in the right direction So I'm going to get hold of some my of my thread again onto my needle and we're going to start hemming. So I'm going to show you how to hem. So I'm going to take my thread, needle and thread and place in the needle like this. And I'm going to be picking up only these loops like this. So this is basically done just so the whatever color thread you're using does not show onto the right side of your project. So I'm going to pick up some of the fabric and again some of the loops. And then again also the fabric. So I'm going to keep on doing this till the end of the lining till here. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And I'll just come back once I've uh, finished with this. and I've just finished hemming the top and also the bottom of the lining with our face mask and now you can just lift up the sides of the lining and put in a filter from there so we've made this uh, crochet mask with the wave stitch effect and adjustable ear loops so if you like this video then do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel from the link below and click on to the bell icon for the latest updates Take care for now and stay safe. Bye-bye.